Protesters all over the world are bringing down statues of colonial figures in the wake of widespread demonstrations demanding justice for George Floyd. In Europe, several statues were either toppled or defaced as the concerned personality represented a racist idea and enforced their empire's vicious policies that left colonies in utter despair. The trend of pulling down statues comes after the recent incident where anti-racism protesters in England drowned the statue of Edward Colston, a 17th century slave trader who is believed to have transported 80,000 men to the Americas. Soon after the events in Bristol and Minneapolis, protesters all around the world are bringing down statues of slave traders, imperialists and men who are said to have no regard for racial equality. In London, anti-racism protesters removed the statue of 18th century slave trader Robert Milligan. The incident occurred after the protests surrounding George Floyd's case triggered a debate on how Britain looks at its own colonial past. In response to the ongoing protests, London Mayor Sadiq Khan has also ordered a review of statues and street names across London. Earlier, protesters in Bristol also brought down two statues of colonials demanding racial justice for all. In Oxford, more than 1,000 protesters came together demanding the removal of a statue of 19th century British colonialist Cecil Rhodes. Given his controversial image, Rhodes was deployed in southern Africa who was known for looting money from people and exploiting miners for gold and diamonds. Infamous for his imperialist wars, racial segregation and beliefs leading to apartheid, the protesters have demanded immediate removal of the statue. Joining us on this broadcast is Beyond's London Bureau Chief Mandy Clark. Mandy, the death of George Floyd has sparked a global movement, isn't it, uh, against racism? And it has spread in the UK as well. And uh, now questions are being raised about UK's own colonial past and history of slave trade as well, isn't it? Uh, questions have even been raised over Winston Churchill himself. Could you give us an update about the latest situation in the UK? Absolutely, and that's the biggest. Uh, the biggest uh, question here is how Britain looks uh, at its own history and who they celebrate and who they don't. Uh, Winston Churchill uh, is. I'm in mean, Parliament Square, and he uh, had his uh, monument uh, defaced twice this week uh, because he, his the words he said when he was alive are deemed racist. Uh, and it really has caused Britain to look again at itself. Around 60 other monuments linked to slavery are now being re-examined across the country, and leaders from across the country are willing to look at it and take down any that deemed offensive. It uh, said, in many ways, it's a question uh, starting that um, conversation again about how they view their past and that, how they view their history and what they celebrate and what they shouldn't celebrate. Right, Mandy, uh, has this sparked a new debate? Has this sparked a new outlook among Britishers to look at their own history? Uh, was this even part of the debate before the George Floyd incident? There had been some conversation, of course, at Oriel College in Oxford, where you spoke about Cecil Rhodes. They already had four years ago was calls to pull down that statue, and they uh, said it was a part of their history and refused. Now, um, so far, they're still refusing, but they might look again. However, it has uh, sparked also, unfortunately, counter-protests, where um, we are seeing uh, people from the far right, uh, white supremacists who are coming to protect uh, monuments uh, that they feel are under threat. Uh, so we can expect possibly violent clashes this weekend when uh, both sides are due to protest. So there, it has uh, sparked uh, another side uh, uh, to Britain as well. But the conversation about how they look at their colonial past is beginning to reemerge, how they look uh, at educating and how they cover that in schools as well. Mandy Clark, thank you so much for joining us uh, live from UK. Certainly George Floyd's death has sparked 
the world look back at its own self and uh, see how the world is dealing towards the sensitive issue of racial discrimination.